Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. I'll be your host, Mr. Red, for tonight. And today, we've got something very special. Today, we're going to visit a place a lot of people want to visit. And unfortunately, due to the tragic day we all remember for 20 years ago, we are no longer able to visit until now. Because due to the technology we have today, we're able to visit pretty much anywhere we want to within reason of course this is probably as close as we'll ever get to actually being back to this place and i am very excited i actually checked this map out shortly before filming this video just to kind of familiarize myself with it and to uh yeah look look at what's there so this map was made by hodgers I believe in 2019 and it is an incredible map it is absolutely huge i actually had to downgrade my hardware or my uh, settings significantly but to be able to run this properly so I'm sorry if it doesn't look as best as my other videos but it will manage as i park my nice car over here so first of all welcome back to new york city and what a view what a view is this? Oh my god. This is wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. So when this event took place, I was about three years old, but ever since I was a little kid, ever since I could remember, I always loved these buildings over here. Just the way they look, the robust steel frame, and just the plaza, the hotel, everything just comes together so nicely. It is a sight to behold standing in here in vr just puts in perspective how huge these buildings were absolutely insane so i'm gonna go through everything one step for the other we've got some nice places we can go we've got the south tower where we can actually check out the lobby we can go up to the observation deck which i'm just super excited for because you can actually see the entirety of pretty much the whole new york city you can see across the Hudson River, you can see the Statue of Liberty. So we're going to check that out very soon. We'll also be going up again, uh, into the North Tower. Because there's actually a couple of floors you can check out up there. And just, man, I, I check, like I said before, I checked this out before recording this video. And just the level of detail in this map is ridiculous. So it is a pretty hefty map. <laughs> the download size is quite big and it's... Just, you require a little bit more than the usual hardware that you need for Gary's mod maps to run this because this map is really pushing the source engine to its limits and it's just incredible what Hodges was able to do with it to create this wonderful piece of art, this, this recreation of these towers. So we're going to approach it here, we're stepping into the plaza, you can see this the nice sculpture we all recognize which is actually still around which is incredible in my eyes this statue was i believe engineered by a german artist and it meant peace among the world which is it's it's in my opinion it's fitting because it survived the attack it was heavily damaged but in my eyes this artwork the way it is right now even with the damage it represents it even through great great strategy we can still persevere and achieve that that peace so let's just take a little look around there's the north tower we've got the south tower we've got the marriott hotel over there the world trade center number seven and the world trade center five uh it's all here it's it's, it's all here ladies and gentlemen it's it's beautiful there's no water here it's probably because <laughs> this map is already as big as it is like most of the detail went to do the towers itself and you can really tell once we get in there so we've got the stage over there it's just we got some advertisements for the various types of events that were going to take place here i'm not sure if these are actually real posters that were taken from whatever events were that were going to happen here but i like to believe that they are because if we approach them we can actually see different artists you see children's day i cannot read that in vr i think it's just evening stars 
Um, yeah, I saw what it was. One World Trade Center, two World Trade Center over there, in North Tower. Just look at that, at the size of this building. So I believe that this is a actual one-to-one -one replication of how it actually used to be. And as I'm standing here, I feel like an ant looking up at a car. <laughs> just the size is just ridiculous. So the first place I'm going to check out is obviously the South Tower. That's the main attraction. That's where the observation decks are. And that's where we can see most of the views. So that's the first place we're going to check out. We can also go to the street. And I will do that after visiting the towers. I'll just do a little drive around the area here and uh, show you what else is on this map but for now we're just gonna go into the south tower got a little food stands here we've got the actual sign world trade center number two observation deck on the 107th floor man let's just appreciate this for a second actually being able to stand here Appreciate the lobby of the South Tower. Just looking down here. So there's a, a, a ambient noise on this map, which are sirens. I don't know why that was added in, in my opinion. It could have been without that. It actually gets pretty annoying afterward. But that doesn't matter. I lowered the volume. I put some music over it. It should be fine. So this is the South Tower. Got the... Uh, Got the desks over there. That's where people picked up the phones. And we got one elevator, which will bring us straight to the top. So I'm going to jump in that elevator. So I walk up to this window. You can see the main street over here. All these recognizable buildings. I actually believe that one is that overpass actually still exists. Something else has been built here. Obviously where we are right now would be the memorial and over there, um, right next to tower number 7 is now the One World Trade Center Freedom Tower in present day. It's definitely a place I would love to visit soon. Let's get the main hallway to the center of the, the tower. We're actually going to go around and take the escalators. So let's go up. Well, first we're going to go down before we go, go up, obviously. Let's go take the escalator down. As we sit on the rail and let it carry us down. So I'm not an expert on the exact um, blueprints on how it used to be, but I'm pretty sure that if you go this way, you will go into the underground shopping area and the metro eventually. Um, and then behind us, we will have the elevator up, which we will go to. We got all the elevators to the office, various office floors, various different stops, the express elevators. And we're going to take the uh, the touristy elevator, shall we? Let's go. So this will bring us straight up to the 107th floor of the South Tower, where the observatory was. And I'm pretty excited to see the view. So I'm not sure how many views this video is going to get, but if someone that has been up on the towers pre 9 11 sees this video i'd really like to know how accurate this map is so like let me know down in the comments if you want of course let me know how accurate this is because i'm I, i'd like to know all right so we arrived at the observation deck well i'm not gonna stall any further let's walk up to the to the view here just admire it for a second A nice view of the Brooklyn Bridge over here. <laughs> the classical New York apartment buildings over there. Jeez. You can see Wall Street back there. I believe that's Wall Street right there, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Anyways, I'm not a banker, so <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Just can go around the whole tower. Appreciate the architecture. And as we walk up to this side, 
we were able to see North Tower. That is crazy. And then Tower 7, I'm over there. Number 7. Let's go. Let's check out the various facilities that were up here. So this will take us up to the top and main observatory. And this should take us to the cafeteria. Yeah, there we go. Cafeteria, take drinks, get a bite to eat, sit with your family. It's truly a beautiful place. Incredible how much detail is in here. We got the little library. <laughs> I'm not sure what this used to be, but I'm pretty sure there were books here at one point. And there's the uh, Hudson River, I believe, yes. See all the way to the other side. Let's go up. Let's do it. Here we are, on the top of the South Tower. I, I am excited for this. Would you look at that? What a view. It's little telescopes here. American flag, red, white, and blue. Swing proudly as it should. And here we've got the North Tower. You can actually see the interior from here. It's pretty cool. You can actually look into the windows. Because that's actually a place you can go in this in this recreation. Don't you look at that. I'm going to slowly walk around here, drink in the view. I'm pretty sure you can see the Statue of Liberty over there. It's pretty hard to see because if I turn my head, the fog actually covers it up. It's a little bit of a shame. It could have been a little bit further away. If I turn my head, I can just about see it over there. There we go. There's Broadway. That's Lower Manhattan. All the famous buildings that includes it. So another pretty cool thing is you can actually go onto the window washer and go down. I believe press this. Oh. Ah, I wasn't fast enough. It left without me. On second guess, I'm happy I didn't follow it down. Look how far that is. And I'm a guy with afraid of heights. You can imagine how uh, nervous I am about this. I'm sweating pretty profusely because of this. My god. Obviously, as I'm standing here, I do kind of have to talk about what happened here. I feel that that's the respectful thing to do. As I stand on these towers and look down, I realize the unspeakable things that happened to these towers and the people that were in it most importantly. I can't think we'd realize how terrible that day was. And how the world has never been the same since that. Shall we remember the people that we lost that day? Innocent people that were working, firefighters that risked their lives to help people, 
police officers, people on the planes, everybody, even people in the Pentagon. May we never forget them. So let's let's go to the other side. I have to go back down. Here we are, the North Tower. Let's go inside. Let's see what it's got. Cause I don't get stuck on this door. <laughs> All right, let's go down. I hope I won't get lost up here. Here we are. Now, it's kind of a maze up here. Because <laughs> I don't know the way. I don't know the way. Just bear with me. Alright, here we are. First corridor. These are all offices. Let's say crazy wallpaper. So I believe once again I believe that this is an accurate representation, so I'm gonna comment about it as if it is. I'm just going to assume that it is accurate. This was a I actually like the design of this. It's pretty nice, wow. I can't imagine sitting here in a board meeting and just I just get distracted all the time looking out. I just can't ignore this view. So fun little trivia about the design of the Twin Towers. The reason why all the windows are like barred up like this is because the designer was actually afraid of heights. And yeah, I know it's ironic for someone that builds a a high rise like this and the, his reasoning was was that if you create these columns in between the windows it feels like you are more secure and indoors which I think he did a pretty good job he did a pretty good job because so it does give you that feeling that you're inside and then when you look out you can see like down the Hudson River like 107 floors it's, it's a marvelous design like we're actually circling the outside of the building right now. Oh, look at this. This is a lobby. So that should be the elevator that takes us down to one of the office floors. Which We're going to take that elevator um, after I checked out this, the rest of this floor. Now, would you look at that? Nice red wallpaper. Nice luxurious chairs. I could sit here and just have a lunch break, look out. Now this entire floor has a bunch of leisure areas. Um, and I'm not quite sure why. If anybody who knows the Twin Towers better uh, can explain why the upper floors of the North Tower were all leisure areas. Like, I assume that's because um, this is like, first of all, this is like boardrooms. But secondly, I guess that this was... A place for workers to uh, just sit down and relax in their break time in the towers themselves. Uh, you'll see what I mean once I get to these types of rooms. I assume this leads to that lobby we saw before. There's a corridor in between. Yeah, that leads to the lobby. Let's step into the lobby. Here we are. Now, that's what I was talking about. Like, this seems like a cafeteria. I assume it is a place to just have a break. I like how there's multiple different levels on the, the same floor. Like there's uh, elevation. Yeah, this is the cafeteria. 
definitely this is a kitchen here and then we come into this open space it looks like a band could have played over there mm -hmm. let's continue our journey Oh, this is really cool. The way the walls, the, the wallpaper is. I can tell that this was like to get your mind off of work. Like just happy colors, like 90s. <laughs> this is very 90s. Our, oh, the towers were built in the 70s, late 70s. So I guess 70s. <laughs> Not quite sure what these beams are. Maybe a work of art. I don't know. I don't know the story behind these bars. Alright, so this brings me out to the elevator, which will bring us down. Here's another one of those leisure areas. Just sit down, have a lunch break. Okay, let's go up to the roof. The elevator we're gonna take is back there and I assume the main hallway no this is a kitchen you see I told you I was gonna get lost here I'm not good with directions <laughs> let's follow the exit signs this should get us out of here I can't seem to find my way I'm pretty sure actually that this is the way back because I recognize this wallpaper so I'm trying to get back to the main hallway yeah, this is the one. There we go. There's the stairs to bring us up to the roof. There we are. The spire of the North Tower. Is this actually considered a spire? Or is this considered the antenna? I'm not quite sure. I know the One World Trade Center has a spire, the new one. But I'm not sure if this could be... Uh, called the antenna or the spire. I'm I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. All right, let's step to the edge over here. So this map has a lot of details. For example, this uh, window washing station you can actually go around on these tracks and turn and then go that way. That's actually accurate. It's very nicely made. Just look down, see the plaza, my car right there, the church. Wow. Absolute tragedy. We lost this complex. And all the people that were needlessly snuffed out. If we can remember them. We should remember them like they should. We should never forget them. And this is a beautiful way to remember the towers for what they were. And for what they meant and stood for. They stood proudly. Like twins. Let's check out the other side. See the view from here. Be careful not to walk into one of those antennas and get a... Get a black eye. <laughs> here we go. Oh, uh, look at that. See all the docks, the construction site over there. You can see the harbor. And you can see across the river. The view is absolutely incredible. I saw the Empire State Building back there. Can't see it anymore. Once again, because of the fog. Anyways, let's go check out the other floors. Hit that button in once. At once. Here we are. If I am correct, this is just a regular office floor. It's a nice representation of what this tower was besides the touristy bits. This is where 
ordinary people who just worked every day in these cubicles. Sat, worked, answered phone calls, looked out the windows. The beautiful Brooklyn Bridge. Check out the individual rooms. Small little rooms, private desk. Check the one next to it, same thing. And there's the South Tower. And the observation deck where we were just at. This is a crazy place to have a board meeting and just sit here, listen to your boss. You should look at the other tower over there. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the car right now and do a little drive around. And let's see if we can if we missed something around here. Pretty sure we got most of it. I just wanna go for a little drive around. Just to show you what else is in here. See I'm parked illegally here. It's gonna move them before I get a ticket. So the car mod that I'm using right now is TDM Cars. It's actually the GTA 5 car mod, Cars I believe. It's a pretty nice mod, it's got detailed interiors and everything. It's pretty fitting to drive around here. It's just a shame the mirrors don't work because I keep checking them. <laughs> I keep checking the mirrors and they don't work. So we are approaching Tower 7 right now. This is the overpass towards Tower 7. You see the American flag there waving proudly. There it is. This building was huge as well. Pull over for a second and uh, just appreciate it for a minute. It's a huge building. It's pretty close to the North Tower. There it is. American flag. Let's drive. I'm be driving to Main Street right now. What it would look like to drive past the World Trade Center. Oh, and I need the overpasses here. That's the Marriott Hotel. You actually cannot go into the Marriott Hotel, which is kind of sad, but the map's already big enough as it is.
Look at the south tower. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure having you again tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this content, please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what to improve on. And then I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.